And now we talk about all sorts of trade on this programme, but from steel, how about cannabis? And until now, the cannabis that's sold in Dutch coffee shops has been illegally grown and supplied. It's unregulated, it's done undercover. The authorities simply turn a blind eye. Well, this week, though, for the first time, cannabis is being legally cultivated as part of a small experiment that could eventually be rolled out right across the country. Our reporter Anna Holligan was the only foreign journalist invited to a top secret location in the Netherlands. This is the first ever legally produced cannabis for recreational purposes within the EU. But it's about more than just a single plant. It's about enhancing the traceability and transparency of an entire industry. The biggest challenge to get here was regulation. All the paperwork that we have to fill in uh, to get a bank account, to get all the rules back from illegality to legality. So we're just packaging here. First of all, we put it in glass. And then second, we put it into a labeling. So this is the consumer packaging. You see the flower in there. And on the other side is a lot of information and a lot of rules and regulation from the government. And then there's a track and trace. So there's a system the government can see where it's coming from. And here is another QR code where information for the consumer is there. There's test information and there's also consumer information. Way too long. No, I'm shaking my head because it's like, wow. It's like yeah. gone full circle from a completely like opaque yeah, it's, industry it's, to like following every tiny step. It's mind blowing. In the end, it's all about trust. Can we trust the existing industry to take care of cannabis production and distribution and do it in a transparent and fair and honest way. That's it. We work together with laboratories to analyze our soil, our flowers and our environment and monitor the, the end quality. These get tested like three times. So these of course are three major points that in the black market is not happening. And because we are doing this, we can ensure a high quality product without residue, pesticides, or chemicals. We have lots of experience. I think uh, with all the people walking around here, we have more than 100 years of experience. So is that because you were doing it before it became legal? Yes, big change indeed. Like in the black market, you had pressure of the police and the neighbors. And in this environment, you have the pressure to perform. Well, this box is going to be our first legal delivery to the coffee shop. And there it is, symbolically unsealed by the Dutch health minister, Europe's first ever legal batch of commercially cultivated cannabis. This box taking the country a step closer to eventual decriminalization. Anna Holligan, BBC News in the Netherlands. Uh, well, let's talk to you, Anna. She's in The Hague for us. And Anna, quite astonishing to see in your report there the health minister opening that uh, packet. As you said, quite a turnaround from what we've seen before. How has it gone down there? Um, well, this has the potential to absolutely revolutionise this entire industry because most of the cannabis, uh, you can see here, sold in Dutch coffee shops has been grown illegally. So essentially, the only people who are doing any form of quality control, the customer, but also the coffee shop owner. I can bring uh, Gerard in here, who owns uh, this establishment, Kramer's in The Hague. Tell me your reaction to, to this experiment. What potential does it have to change the industry? Uh, well, there's a big potential because we uh, finally we can, can uh, sell some goods without uh, uh, with quality control, so the customers will know that they're smoking clean weed controlled by the government. Um, ben, you mentioned there the, the kind of striking image of the Dutch health minister unsealing that first batch of legally cultivated cannabis. If this experiment is a success, then the chances are in future, if you walk into a, a coffee shop here in The Hague or in Amsterdam, you will be able to buy weed, cannabis that has been uh, rubber stamped by the Dutch government.